Most rebuilders in this industry have been forced to become a jack of all trades, taking in any job that walks through the doors. Sonny Leonard, president and CEO of Sonny's Racing Engines, is no different. However, the engine shop he started in 1969 in Lynchburg, Virginia, is known for its 700 to 1,000 cubic inch engines for drag racing, truck pulling, extreme muscle cars, and boat applications. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrave. Precision, performance, Pengrave. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original. Leading technology, leading service. And SCAT Crankshafts. Everything for your LS engine. I'm Crystal Smith with Engine Builder, and in this episode of Engine of the Week, we're going to give you all the details on an 820 cubic inch EFI marine engine built by Sunny's Racing Engines. With 16 employees and the capability to manufacture components and cylinder heads in-house, this 820 cubic inch marine engine built by Sunny Leonard is pretty impressive. The engine is designed using a billet aluminum block with 360 degree water jackets and 5.3 inch bore spacing hemispherical cylinder heads, a 5045 bore and a 5125 stroke. Internally, the engine features a billet crankshaft, billet rods, diamond pistons, and a 70 millimeter tool steel endurance camshaft from Comp Cam. According to Sunny, what's so unique about this engine is that it's designed for endurance boat applications as opposed to drag racing or truck pulling engines, which would perform much differently. To test that performance, Sunny's Racing Engines has two Superflow dynos and this 820 cubic inch engine operating on 89 to 92 octane unleaded gas is capable of cranking out 1,450 horsepower at 6,400 RPM and 1,350 foot-pounds of torque at 5,600 RPM. Sunny's also offers a stage two version, which uses a billet intake manifold, front mounted throttle bodies, and a billet oil pan with a five stage billet oil pump. With quality components like that, this is one marine engine that is ready to hit the open water. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And if you have an engine you'd like to feature, please email our editor Greg Jones at gjones at babcox.com. Thanks for watching.